Hi, I'm Ken Charman, Senior Editor here at CNET.com. Today we're going to take a first look at the Motorola Razr V3XX. This is a new phone for singular, or you might call it AT&T service. Yes, we are talking about another Razr. You think after this long the company might not be pumping out more versions of the phone, but here another one is. It looks a lot like the original Razr, the V3, but the V3XX, which is different from the V3X, does mean that this phone has 3G service. So while the V3X, which was compatible with UMTS service, the V3XX is actually compatible with HSDPA, which is a 3.5G service that Singular offers. The phone does bring a lot more in terms of data speeds, but beyond that, pretty much the same basic features with just some tiny design tweaks. Here on the front face, looks very much like the original Razer. Have the same camera lens up here. Again, no flash, no self-portrait mirror, but the, actually the external display does act like a viewfinder for self-portraits. It's pretty small, like most on the Razers, but it does show the daytime battery life, all that stuff you need. This phone still is branded as singular in a few locations right here, as you can see, but actually in some places, it actually is now branded as AT&T. Singular's in the middle of that name change, so we'll probably see that for a little bit. Open up the phone. It looks a lot like other Razers. has a pretty nice display, pretty big, pretty vibrant. Moving down, have the circular toggle. It is flat with the surface of the phone, along with the OK button in the middle. There's a little bit of texture here surrounding it, a little bit of a raised ridge. So that can help you for dialing by feel, but it can be difficult to do that. Overall, though, you wouldn't really know this Razer is different. Color is a little different than the original Razer, a little darker. It also comes in a bright gold version for singular as well. I'm Kent German, and this is the Motorola Razer V3XX.